The Mandalorian is probably Disney's biggest streaming content and it recently concluded its third season. Today we're going to be ranking all three seasons of The Mandalorian. I apologize that this video is quite late as I've been quite busy, but we're going to rank them nonetheless, starting with the worst and ending up with the best. But before we do, please let me know what your ranking is down below. I'm interested to see and let's get into it. Easily in last place I had season 3 and I think many will agree with me on that front. I see the first two seasons as fairly flawless and this one riddled with problems so naturally it was an easy last pick. It's not even about the story that this one's telling because in some ways it's the most interesting of the bunch as the show is called The Mandalorian and this is the first time it's properly devoting a whole season or majority of a season to The Mandalorian, the of Mandalore and just the culture behind the Mandalorians themselves. But amongst all of that, there's just some messy, inconsistent storytelling. The tone is all over the place. And not to mention there are some awkward filler episodes amongst them as well. These seasons are only eight episodes long, so that should naturally allow for some tight, efficient storytelling. But here, that is not the case. It really takes it slow from the get-go, which it can do as long as it picks up the pace, but when it gets to the point where it needs to desperately pick up the pace, it chucks in a filler episode featuring celebrity cameos, which just feels so out of place in the Star Wars universe. A real low for this series and Star Wars in the past few years. So once that awkward, terrible filler episode was out of the way, then it started to deliver, but it almost felt rushed and an anticlimactic finale because it had so little time to pull off the things that it was trying to do. We've seen it before with these Disney Plus projects with the Marvel series, and they haven't perfected the pacing of a lot of their shows, you know. Well, I say that they've done it well in two seasons prior to this one, they really missed the mark with season three and I was thoroughly disappointed. Like many, I didn't know what to expect from The Mandalorian with its first season. It's the first time we've had a live action Star Wars TV show and although the concept looked interesting, it was hard to gauge how it would be translated into a TV show and I really enjoyed this first season. It was such a refreshing experience in what I found had been quite a convoluted franchise up to this point, mainly with the sequel trilogy which had kind of soured my taste a little bit. The universe it's set in feels like Star Wars but the stories it's covering feels completely different except for a few little minor details which kind of just enhance the experience but I liked being away from all the Skywalker stuff for a bit and focusing on this bounty hunter and the introduction of Baby Yoda. Din Djarin and Baby Yoda or Grogu do have that cliche relationship but the way it's executed and the fact that it's in this universe feels satisfying rather than repetitive. As the storyline follows Din Djarin transporting Grogu across the galaxy it naturally lends itself nicely to episodes which aren't exactly interconnected with one another they're just kind of individual stories with loose threads to connect each other and mainly I'm not a huge fan of that but I think it worked really nicely in this format and delivered some refreshing new Star Wars content. Season 1 was unlucky to miss out on top spot but ultimately I went for season 2 as it does everything that I loved about season 1 and builds upon it slightly while also drawing in elements from the wider Star Wars universe which naturally fit into it and just elevate that experience. The lack of urgency within the first season was nice but the increase of tension and direction in this season makes it stand above it. There's plenty of fan service within this season and it's not forced in you know it's not just mainstream Star Wars fans who are treated to this fan service but those who have been watching the animated shows as well it's just it's just fascinating to see how these all tie into each other just like all these seasons the production value is very high and impressive the acting is phenomenal everything about this just feels like eight 40 minute parts of a movie rather than a tv show because the budget for this is so high that it stands alongside these films making the mandalorian one of the finest sci-fi shows in recent years so that is my ranking of all three mandalorian seasons i'm eager to see what yours is and i think we can all agree with my last pick i hope i really enjoy this show but i was very frustrated with season three there were just so many odd choices and directions that they went in but hopefully when the next season comes out they can return to form but yeah once again i apologize for the lateness of this video 
video. I had perhaps my busiest week of my life and could only get around to watching the finale in small doses. But don't worry, I have my Evil Dead ranking out soon after this video, I hope. So if you want to stick around for that one, please like and subscribe. It would really mean a lot. And I hope to see you in that next video.